Welcome back to Dean's Dustbin. Uh, it is currently the beginning of October in 2021. I am telling you that because this build is happening now, um, but probably not going to be shown online until after uh, Halloween. Um, what I'm doing uh, is I have a friend. Uh, she has been doing a haunted barn for the community. And she got a hold of me uh, last week and she wants a new attraction to the haunted barn. And she thought the dustbin was the place to come for it. She has wanted for the longest time, apparently, a prop electrical chair. Yeah, we're going spooky. And and I, you guys don't know me, some of you probably do, but I feel like I'm being stereotyped here. I mean, like, I got a front walk that literally you walk up, you pass skulls, you pass a gargoyle, freaking doormat says piss off. I mean, you know what, let's roll the clip, we'll show it. Yeah. I wasn't joking. This is my front walk. I feel like I'm being stereotyped here. This is bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. I'm being stereotyped here. Apparently I'm the spooky guy. Ugh, if the shoe fits. Anyway, so uh, we're going to be building an electrical chair today. And, well, let's be honest, it's pretty basic. It's gonna be a throne with a lot of artistic stuff. Guess what? I like art. So uh, we're gonna be building this thing out of four by fours and one by fours. First off, I have a big problem with the lumber industry. Why do you call it a four by four if it's a three and a half by three and a half and a one by four is a one by three and a half? Just put the numbers down normal. It makes things a lot easier. Anyway, uh, I got my cut list here and what we're going to do now is we're going to start breaking everything down so I can start building this. And uh, here we go. Next build for Dean's Dustbin. Electrical chair. Due by the end of the month. Don't worry. It'll get done. See you in a little while. One little quick funny story. So when I went and got the lumber, right, I picked it up. The guy at the lumber yard's like, so do you want to pick out your own lumber? You know, make sure you like it. I was like, and I just looked up and was like, hey, man, uh, Give me the worst crap you got. It's like, what? Like, I'm building an electric chair and I'm gonna have to distress it anyway. I don't care if it's pretty or not. So you see like this one, I don't know how well it shows up over there, but like it's already got gouges in it. Perfect, I was gonna do it anyway. Dude, that lumber yard guy, it's like he won the lottery. He literally yells across the yard. Dude, this guy wants the bad lumber, help him out. Perfect, so here we are. Now let's break this stuff down. All right, so we need to break down this four by four here, or three and a half by three and a half, because they lie. Uh, Mom's back there. She's actually helping me out today and uh, holding the uh, board for me, because this is one of those things you need two people for. So first thing we need, we need two five foot sections. Easy peasy. Got mom down there, perfect. We're marking off five feet. If this wasn't in the way, perfect. Okay. And thanks, Mark. Grab a carpenter's square. Straight line. Now we get to cutting. All right, let's get this lined up, Mark. Little ways. Looks good. four by fours or three and a half by three and a halfs. We got the one by fours or one by three and a half. Uh, and I'm gonna need to break this down into eight two foot sections. I got more boards to cut. Hooray! All right, so now that everything's broken down, now comes the crappy part. Um, I'm gonna make this thing look like hell in a hand basket by the time I'm done with it, but now I've gotta sand it all down. So, step number whatever we're on and yeah about an hour of my life off to the sanding all right now that the uh, sanding's done I didn't go smooth it's gonna get rough anyway uh, now we gotta start building this sucker and 
Yeah, I draw like a child. So here is the uh, sketch. Uh, I measured a chair uh, I have and kind of based things off of that. So we got our five foot four by four here. Um, the idea is uh, I want the butt plate to be 18 inches up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call this in arbitrarily the bottom of the, uh, the electric chair. We're going to measure up 18 inches. Uh, from there, somebody's going to find a pencil because, uh, yeah, apparently I'm not prepared. There we go. Got a pencil. All right. So we're going to figure out where 18 inches is. Got it right there. Take our uh, carpenter square. Draw a line straight across. From there, what we need to do is we have these sections that are 17 inches long. Yeah, I got notes. Um, and we are going to attach them at that line. And that's going to be our little butt plate. Uh, what I'm going to do to do that is we got... God, you think I never filmed anything? Uh, we're going to do a combination of two ways. I got little uh, 90 degree brackets, so those are going to go down here. I'm also going to do some nails kind of in at an angle. I'm not trying to do things pretty here. I'm trying to make a death machine. So, let's get this done. Okay, so just kind of like the previous build, uh, we're doing pilot holes. So I'm going to make a quick mark on both of these pieces of wood for my 90 degree bracket. And get us some pilot holes real quick. And where's that other dot? There's that other dot. friend back up. So I always say, easy peasy. So, here we go. Let's get this sucker in. Alright, since we're working with some big lumber, I'm sorry for kind of how we're doing these uh, shots, but uh, so we got the first part all secure. So we got the five foot back front section is 27 inches by my note right there so we're going to do the same exact thing we're going to measure up 18 inches on this section make a line adjust it to wherever the heck it's supposed to be 90 degree bracket tuck that underneath screw it in with pilot holes we're going to take again we're going to take nails we're going to go in at angles on all the sides secure it that way and we'll be back in a second all right, so here's what we built. Um, that thing's five foot tall, uh, 27 inches in the front, and that's the, we'll call it the right side. I don't know. Now we just gotta build the other one. All right, so here's basically where we're at right now. We've uh, pinned this entire thing together in a very ugly fashion. That uh, board across the back, that's just there for stability right this second. Um, next part we got to do is we're going to come in here and let's just cut real quick and get a different angle. Now that this thing is uh, in its uh, current state, which is rugged, uh, we have to now pin it together a little bit more. And those one by fours that I was talking about, what we're going to do is we've got some Gorilla Wood glue. We're going to basically lube up these joints in between them, slap these down take some nails, pin them down. Basically what we are creating is the butt plate, so to speak. So all this stuff will fit together like so. Uh, again, uh, wood glue down, nails through, pin it together, uh, and we're going to let it dry for about a day or two because it is cold and rainy and I feel like the glue is going to take a little bit longer to dry than normal. So this is the end of uh, day one build for this electric chair. Uh, if you're feeling frisky, please like, share, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Hit the bell icon. 
That'll show you what we're doing uh, and when we're coming back. And uh, that's it for Dean's dustbin tonight. Later. So one thing I don't think I've actually covered right now, why is it that I'm using nails? So I know that properly I should be using wood screws, much better and much more secure bond. But when I started thinking about this project, I started thinking about this old like 100 year old looking electric chair and they wouldn't have had the wood screws that I used back then. So what I'm doing is kind of counteracting what my brain says, and I'm using this whole bunch of nails and glue and things like that, even though I think it's not the right way to do it, I will use it because it's aesthetically what I want this look and what I want this build to be. So before anyone you know starts to try to chat my butt about this, understand that literally I'm doing it, one, out of protest, but two, I want it to look a certain way at the end of the day. And as you can tell right now, I will double check to make sure that it is fat ass approved and it will hold my weight before it goes to my friend. So this is me signing out. Later.